right, class, welcome back to week six um, and an, adis an additional discussion about PRISM as it's related to the lensometer. Um, so this is as if you've got a pair of glasses on your lensometer. So you are looking um, at the patient or you're looking at the glasses. So your right side would be their left, um, your um, left side would be their right. Um, so we are uh, looking directly at this particular patient. Now, uh, in addition to talking about like base up or base down, um, sometimes they do divide the eyes into four quadrants. So we've got four quadrants uh, for each lens. Um, again, as if we are looking at the patient and they would define those as uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We can also think about these as uh, meridians. So again, because this is as if we are looking at the patient, we have zero, 90, 180, zero, 90, and 180. We can also think about these as direction. Um, so all four of our upper quadrants, ones and fours are ups, and then twos and threes are down. So we have uh, base up in both our quadrants, one and four, and then base down in our quadrants two and three. And then as we look at quadrants um, one and two on the left eye for our patient, we see um, that those are both the direction of out or base out. And in that left eye, we have uh, in quadrants four and three base in uh, towards the nose. So base out on that left side moves out towards the ear um, and in towards the nose on quadrants four and three. Now on the right side then, our quadrants one and two are the in quadrants uh, pointing in towards the nose and then quadrants four and three are base out. So they may present a question in a couple of different ways. They could tell you that there is prism placed in our patient's left eye um, at the 45th meridian. As we look at our meridians, we know that zero is out here towards our patient's ear, 90 here at the top, of course. Um, so 45, that 45th meridian would put us uh, squarely in quadrant one, and we would say that this patient had prism placed both base up and base out. So they could say, um, you know, which quadrant uh, is that then prism placed at? If it's placed at the 45th meridian, uh, we would answer one, quadrant one in this scenario. Um, they could also ask you the direction. Uh, we would say then that this particular prism was prescribed base up and base out. So remember, not only do we just work um, up and down or in and out on that 90 or 180 line, um, but we could work um, kind of in those in-between spaces like this example at the 45th meridian where the patient needs um, prism placed in a couple of different directions, um, base up uh, and base out. Thanks for joining the video this morning and uh, please don't hesitate to call if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.